I'm Keanu Backus and this is my five side team. My five side team I'd probably play obviously a goalie. I'm gonna play I don't wanna play too defensive, so I'll probably play one at the back. Um, have two midfielders either side, two wingers slash midfielders, and then have a number nine up top. Yeah, obviously played a hell of a long for Australia for soccer reasons and was a yeah, pivotal role why the team did so well in his era in the in between the goals. So massive player. Um, I don't know where to put my. I mean, I had to have to defend, right? Yeah, I'd have to. I think if, if I'm going to be in it, I think this is the only position I can see myself. <laughs> see myself playing in. This pivot role, what Fitzfoots will call it, in the in the back, and just hopefully not touch too much of the ball, and just talk to the boys and tell them to to do what I need. So yeah, um, Are you taking a captain John Bun? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Just because I'll be telling them what to do, where to go, even though they won't need it. But I'm um, gonna have on this. I'm gonna have on the left to cut in in my team Neymar. Just because I think he's probably one of the most skillful players to play the game, especially in this last 10 years, you know, in, in, in our generation now. I love the way he plays. He sort of plays like a five-side player on, on a big field, you know, so I've always loved him since, since he's been around. On this side, I'm going to have, um, obviously, Messi. Again, because arguably, you know, best player in the world. Um, great with his feet. I feel like I've got left footer on this side to cut in and shoot, and Neymar's right footed, so he can cut in that side and shoot and get goals away. Um, yeah, up front, it's a tough one. I don't know who I'm gonna go for. If I go for cliche CR7, or I could go older, could I? Could go an icon. Sure, it's your front, it's you. That's a tough position. Just depends what I want. Need someone to hold the ball up. I personally love Aguero. My, probably will be one of my, my, my whole family knows. Probably been one of my favorite players for like the last few years. He's been at City. He's been phenomenal. But I can't not put Ronaldo in. So I have to. And that's like CR7, yeah, so Ronaldo, obviously. So. Yeah, have fun just because brings still skillful and everything and good with his feet, but also he brings that presence of aerial threat, um, can hold the ball up, very strong. And yeah, I don't think I'll really need to touch the ball in this team to be honest. So <laughs> I think Schwartz won't, won't, won't need to touch it too much either, but if it does get down there, he'll do he'll do his thing and do well. Happy you've got goals in there. Yeah, definitely a lot of goals. I feel like it's that, that, that kind of game with five aside, so you need to have get shots away. Yeah, happy with that. Yeah, I haven't always played as as an eight as such, so I'm kind of familiar with that role as I'd say a number six. Probably wouldn't say it's a centre back in that in, in my formation anyway, my my team. Probably say it's a number six, a deep lying number six that can hopefully yeah, control the game, but <laughs> as I said, I probably won't need to with the players around me. So how good would that be? If you were gonna come up against any of your St. Martin teammates at the minute. Uh, and their team, who would you want to be coming up against and why? Oh, I can't lie. Not, not just because he's Aussie, but it's definitely Strainy. Yeah, Strainy. And also T as well. It's a bit of a, a rivalry off the field with, with everything we do. It's like FIFA or ping pong or anything. So, yeah, either one of them two teams and just and just probably, you know, smash them because I was speaking to T off camera and he said his team would be a bit different to mine. So, it'd be interesting. <laughs>